Welcome to Telecom Forum channel. This is Lambos and Chandran. Today we are going to discuss about Millering 6600 series. So let me proceed to the topic. This is a product overview of the 6600 series. We start with Minilink 6366, Minilink 6651, Minilink 6691, 6693 and 6692. These are the pictures of the following units. And let's suppose 6366 it has 1 GB Ethernet and 2.5 GB Ethernet interfaces. Its switch capacity is 9.5 Gbps and it supports one radio link and the modulation and the channel bandwidth schemes are 4096 quam that is quadrature amplitude modulation and 112 megahertz as a bandwidth many link 6651 it's a compact dual carrier it has 1 gigabyte ethernet and 2.5 gigabyte ethernet interfaces its switch capacity is 14.5 gbps it supports 1 to 2 radio links as I said earlier, modulation and channel bandwidth schemes are all are same in 6600 series. Whereas Minilink 6691, it's a small aggregation node. It has 1 GE and 10 GB Ethernet ports. Its switch capacity is 45 or 90 Gbps. It supports maximum 4 radio links. Whereas Minilinx 6693, it is a medium aggregation node. It also has the same interfaces as I said before 6691. Whereas 6691, 6693, 6692 all are having the same interfaces and the switch capacity as well. It supports maximum 8 radio links, whereas 6692 supports maximum 16 radio links. Remaining modulation and bandwidth schemes are all are same in 6600 series. Many link 6691. This is a picture of 6691 many link. It's a 1 inch aggregation node. It supports up to 4 radio links. Each MME has 2 radio link capability. So totally we have 2 MME slots. So we can able to make up to four radio link connections it supports one plus zero or one plus one or two plus zero with xp configuration it supports up to 7 to 112 megahertz as a channel bandwidth and up to 4096 quadrature amplitude modulation and also it provides link capacity up to 1.4 gbps in one plus zero configuration uh, with 112 megahertz channel or it provides 2.5 gbps in 2 plus 0 configuration it supports multi-layer header compression adaptive code modulation as well it has only one slot for node processor unit that is npu with 45 to sorry 45 or 90 gbps switch capacity the npu supports two 1 gigahertz ethernet interfaces and three 1 gigahertz ethernet interfaces and also it provides customer or provider bridge quality of service and hierarchical quality of service functionality as well it has two megahertz sync ethernet port and synchronous ethernet functionality as well it provides maximum up to 128 or 512 quam modulation and layer 3 virtual private networks as well as i said before it has two slots for modems or interfaces for plugin unit we can able to install either mmu 1001 or mmu 1002 in your dual carrier as i said before it has axillary plugin unit functionality as well so it supports ltu 1001 with 16 e1 capacity whereas ltu 1002 with 16 E1 capacity or 1 STM interfaces as well. It has one fan unit and one power filter unit with dual power input that is redundant power supply. The next one is Minilink 6693. 
this is a mini ring double six nine three picture it is a medium size or uh, medium aggregation node we can call it as medium aggregation node medium size that is 1.5 ru aggregation node up to it supports eight radio links because it has four mmu slots each mmu slot supports two radio links so totally we have four radio slots so we can able to get the configuration up to eight radio links it supports 1 plus 0 1 plus 1 2 plus 0 and xp configuration as well and also it supports 7 to 112 megahertz channel bandwidth and up to 4096 quadrature amplitude modulation it provides radio link capacity up to 1.4 gpps in 1 plus 0 configuration with 112 megahertz channel bandwidth or 2.5 gigahertz in a 2 plus 0 configuration as I said before, it also supports multi-layer header compression, adaptive code modulation. It supports one slot for node processor unit, that is NPU, with 45 or 90 GPPS switch capacity functionality. It also supports two 1 GHz or 10 GHz Ethernet interfaces. It is for optical. And also, it supports three 1 GHz Ethernet interfaces for electrical. It provides customer or provider bridge quality of service and hierarchical quality of service functionality as well. It has 2 MHz sync Ethernet port and synchronous Ethernet functionality as well. It provides 128 or 512 core modulation with layer 3 virtual private network functionality as well. As I said before, it has 4 slots for modems and plug-in unit interfaces. So MMU1001 or MMU1002 with dual carrier functionality. LTU that is line termination unit 1001 with 16E1 interfaces or LTU1002 with 16E1 or 1 STM interfaces functionality as well. It has one fan unit and one power filter unit with redundant power supply. The next one is Minilink 6692. This is here picture for 6692 this is a 3u aggregation node for up to 16 radio links it has 8 slats so each one supports 2 radio links so totally we can able to configure up to 16 radio links it also supports 1 plus 0 1 plus 1 2 plus 0 and xp configuration as well it supports 7 to 112 megahertz channel bandwidth and up to 4096 quadrature amplitude modulation it provides radio link capacity up to 1.4 gpps in 1 plus 0 configuration with 112 megahertz channel bandwidth or 2.5 giga gpps in a 2 plus 0 configuration it also supports multi-layer header compression and adaptive code modulation it has two slots for node processor unit that is NPU which is good option to provide the redundancy for the node processor unit if one NPU is faulty ultimately the other NPU will support the site will be always up and carrying traffic it provides up to 90 GPPS switch capacity it has two 1 gigabyte or 10g ethernet interfaces this is for optical and 3 1 gigabyte ethernet inter interfaces this is for electrical it provides customer uh, provider bridge quality of service or uh, hierarchical quality of service functionality it has 2 megahertz sync ethernet LAN port and synchronous ethernet functionality as well it provides 100 512 qua modulation with the layer 3 virtual private network functionality as well as I said before NPU redundancy with additional NPU 1002 it has 8 slots for modems or axillary flag unit we can able to install MME 1001 or MME 1002 with the dual carrier LT 1001 with 16 E1 interfaces LTU 1002 with 16 E1 or 1 STM interfaces it has one fan unit and two power filter unit for optional power redundancy. 
the next one is NP1001. NP is nothing but node processor unit. It is a heart of the node. It has the following interfaces. It has two RJ45 fast Ethernet 1 Gbps Ethernet port. It has two RJ45 Ethernet fast Ethernet ports. Three SFE plus 1 Gbps or 2.5 Gbps Ethernet ports, which is nothing but three optical ports. It has sync Ethernet functionality. It has four E1 capacity for local dropping. This is a port for dropping for electrical events for the local dropping of the site. It has two user input output and it has one Ethernet port for local management. That is, uh, it will be used for design configuration for visibility issues. It has Ethernet switch functionality as well. It provides 13.5 Gbps full duplex switch capacity, quality of service. Customer are provide a bridge for 1 gigahertz switch ports to backplane and also it provides a DCN over VLAN configuration and it can be positioned in millilink 6691 LT1002 this is a picture of LT1002 LT is nothing but line termination unit it is a interfacing legacy services natively. It supports up to 16 E1 for dropping the E1s locally. It is suitable for 6691, 6692, 6693 by using NP1002 or NP1003 hardware combination. MMU1002. MMU is nothing but modem multiplexer unit. It's a dual carrier modem. This is a picture of the MMU1002. It supports dual carrier modem that is one in 1 plus 0 configuration, 1 plus 1 configuration, 2 plus 0 configuration, 2 1 plus 0 configuration. It supports up to 4096 quarter inch amplitude modulation. It supports bandwidth as 7 to 112 megahertz. It supports hard standby or space diversity configuration. It supports XP cross polarization interference cancelling concept. It is a hardware prepared for multiple input, multiple output functionality. And also it supports multi layer header compression. It supports adaptive code modulation. We can able to use millilink 6363 or route 2x radio as well. This is a slot position of Minilink 6693. As I said earlier, the slots are start with slot 0, that is this one slot 0, slot 1, slot 2, slot 3, and again slot 4, slot 5, slot 6. This is a fan unit which is used to provide the cooling. This is a MMU unit slots. Each MMU supports two radio links, so totally we have four radio, uh, four MMU slots, so we can able to get eight radio links. This is a power filter unit slot. It is a redundant power supply, power supply A and B, so it is a protected power supply. This is a NPU node processor unit, one NPU one zero zero two. So next one is one plus one radio link protection. One plus one hot standby up to 1.4 Gbps. Hot standby configuration. So in hot standby, hot standby configuration, only one transmitter is active. The other transmitter is standby mode. Simultaneously, both receivers are working. In 1 plus 1 space diversity up to 1.4 Gbps in 112 megahertz radio link propagation protection. So, space diversity we have to use two different hardwares. 
as I said before here we have to use two, two antennas with two different radios both antennas should be separated by the distance here both transmitters are active as well as both receivers also active upgrade or expand middling traffic node this is a meaning 6691 here we have to use either route 2x radio or mini link 636 radio mm, mmu 1002 will be installed in mini link 6691 as well obviously in the mini link existing traffic node we can use mmu 4a with route 2x radio it will work properly one plus zero configuration the requirements are antennas mmus and rows for the one link for the one plus zero configuration we need two antennas that is near and far and two rows that is near and far and two mmus near and far and and two if cables or rf cables this is here near and we have installed one mmu if cable and one radio and one antenna 1 plus 1 radio link protection space diversity the requirements are antennas mmus and radios for one link so space diversity we need four antennas for near end we need two antennas obviously the far end also we need four uh, two antennas so totally four antennas four radios two mmus Four radios for near and far and four radios for near and far and two mm is for near and far and this is active transmitter whereas this is a passive transmitter both antenna should be distanced so it should be as a space diversity concept this is active transmitter this is a passive transmitter 1 plus 1 radio link protection the requirements are antennas mmus and radios for one link two antenna with integrated power splitter four radios at near and far end and two mmus at near and far end so we have installed the mmu two radios are installed in integrated power splitter in single antenna this is a near end the same thing will be installed in the far end as well Two, one plus zero in two different directions. Requirements are antennas, MMUs, and radios for one link. It needs four antennas at near and far end, four radios at near and far end, two MMUs at near and far end. So we have installed only MMU and two antennas in different direction. So this two antenna two radios and one mmu and two af cable which is installed at the near end the same thing will be installed in the far end as well two plus zero radio link bonding using ccdp co-channel dual polarization the requirements are antennas mmus and radios required for one link it needs two antennas for dual polarized four radios for near and far end and two mmus at near and far end it's a dual polarized antenna which means it supports dual frequency which is nothing but it supports horizontal as well as vertical polarization so we have to install single mmu with the two if cable in the dual polarized antenna in two radios at the near end it should be same thing should be installed on the far end as well the next one is two plus zero radio link bonding no ccdp that is co-channel dual polarization the requirements are antennas mmus and radios required for one link so it needs four antennas at near and far end four radios at near and far end 
two MMUs are here and forward. So we have to install one MMU with the two IF cable and two radios and two antennas at the near end. The same sh thing should be installed in the far end as well. Guys, if you like the video, please like, subscribe and share with your friends.